Hello, I'm Dr. Philip Yu here at the uh, Orange County Sports Spine and Neuropathy Laser Pain Med Institute. Uh, today we're treating Jim here, and he is an avid uh, kettlebell expert and instructor, or KC, a former professional volleyball player on the AVP circuit. Um, Jim has been suffering from shoulder pain after doing a wicked movement in the gym. Um, how's your range of motion been if, since we started? How much improvement, if at all? 75%. Right. And 85%. Pain, what about pain improvement? Pain, 75%. Right. And this is like our like fourth treatment or so. It's a pretty fast results. Um, no need to say, Jim has some old war injuries, being a professional athlete. Um, he likes to blow it out in the gym. We want, we want to make sure he you know, stays pain-free and functional. Right now, is that still tender though? Not no, that's tender. tender. Yeah, before, I mean, I just put my finger here, it would light him up. Um, basically, he probably has a minor sprain strain of his biceps tendon. Here's where it originates. Here's a bicepital groove. Sometimes that transverse groove gets torn. Luckily, it's not the case here. So what I'm doing, I'm loosening up the tissue here with these grasping tools. And what we're doing is we're breaking up any scar tissue because although this might have been some tendonitis in here, after a couple weeks it develops into arthrosis, which is a little degeneration, which means you get scar tissue formation, which is the body's way of compensating when you have an injured joint or tissue to try to stabilize it. Except we know that compensation in the long run is dysfunction. So we are reformatting normal planes of tissue. So we've got to break down all the, all the adhesions. And then after we will, through pavementing and rolling, get normal range of motion of the muscle and soft tissue fibers. I like to work the whole bicep, it's all connected. I'm using supination to work both heads. And we get the other tool, we got the con vex tool and the concave. So we can get a little deeper in there. And now I'm ecstatic about his range of motion. Now, what we're going to get in here is that this is the world's the highest power class 4 laser, 980 nanometers, you can go up to 60 watts for the shoulder because it's smaller tissue than the lumbar spine. We're going to stick with about 45 watts pulse, which is still a lot for the shoulder. And I'm going to kick in some cryotherapy to cool the laser down, it gets so hot. Where's my goggles here? Can you hand me these goggles right here so I'm going official? Thank you. Do I need goggles? <laughs> well, for him, what we'll do, let you wear these to block out any UV rays up here. And we're going to deliver the photonic energy into his shoulder. And what this will do, it will further speed the healing process by a factor of three by bringing in heat, the blood circulation, the ATP energy will be absorbed by his mitochondria in his cells to regenerate normal functioning tissue and this will also help break up any adhesions or scar tissue formations. So, by combining this with the grassing therapy Grassing therapy mechanically is breaking down the adhesions. This is doing it photochemically, so it's a perfect match. Something that gets too hot there. So basically I'm covering the main portion of the biceps tendon as I'm working down to the two heads of the biceps. And that way we make sure that not only the 
tendons are and the joint is at rest, but the belly, the muscles well, which can also have adhesions in it and interfere with the normal range of motion of the whole complex. And needless to say, um, just as important, um, patients need to properly rehab their shoulders, uh, particularly strengthening the rotator cuff, which is part of your core. A lot of, think, a lot of people think your core is just kind of in your hips, or your deep abdominals, but the shoulder complex is core structure in itself, and when that gets weak, guess what? You're more prone to these injuries. Now luckily, Jim here um, works, works out with kettlebells, which is probably the best exercise for core strength, not only of the deep pelvic floor, but also the shoulder girdle complex. A lot of people ignore that. You've got all these big lifters like bench press, military press, and they got all this muscle, but they got weak core, so guess what? They blow off their shoulders and tore, tear their biceps um, or pecs. So we want to get that core strength as part of the rehab, which I don't have to tell him to do. He does it on a regular basis. So, now, after the laser, what we do? We want to get some functional taping. This will do, it will help rehab the shoulder and provide what's called kinesthetic awareness, which is a fancy term for joint position sense, damaged tissue. What happens, the brain kind of almost forgets that joint is there, so it'll stop sending nerve impulses down there, and the joint gets weaker and dysfunctional. This it's kind of like I'm touching this area all the time to remind the brain it's there. So it sends down nerve firing factors and healing factors. We're going to outline the deltoid. Get this back here. here we go. And because this is part of the C56 neurotone and dermatone. And out here. Make sure those nerves are firing a little further. And you're going to supinate here, and we're going to get biceps tendon here. Get that, get that. Cap that right there. There you go. Okay. Thanks for watching, and this is how we treat an athlete for biceps tendinitis shoulder injury. Thank you.